And hello, everybody, and welcome to what are we on? We are on game 10 of the 12 days of day 12 of 12 days of gaming. This one is Oswald the Angry Dwarf. It's over 9,000. So, okay, so we are swinging. What are we chopping down? He's automatically, he's, he's, he's swinging. He's swinging on his own, so... Yes, we can fall. Okay, so... Alright, so we just upgraded our fitness. Um... So yeah, apparently we're just basically... We sit here and let him chop down... Um... What are you... He's chopping down a dandelion, really? D of 50, so... Oh, D is damage. Okay, so we want to... Alright, so let's upgrade our forging skills here. Okay, so this is basically just kind of a sit here and let him do his thing. And it earns us money every dandelion, apparently, that he chops down. Um, wow, my success rate is horrible. Steel quality. Up the quality of your steel, yes. Uh, then we can do our luck, our sharpening, and our trade level. Okay, so he's actually swinging faster because we've upgraded our foraging skills, apparently. I don't get that, but... Don't spend my money for upgrades. I will if I want to. So, yes, let's, uh... Forge axe. Okay, so we... What, what do we need to forge an axe? We need 970 gold. Wow, we have a long ways to go with that. For that. <laughs> uh, I'm not that small. You're chopping a dandelion. A dandelion is taller than you. What is this, a flower? Yes, yes it is. Ugh. Okay, so... Can we... Treat value bonus? Uh, let's upgrade your luck. What? No. I don't get what the hell that was, other than them trying to get me to go and play another one of their games, I guess. So, uh, But yeah, like I said, it's not an in-depth game. It's not a award-winning game or anything like that. It's just, you know... It's a casual game. That's all there is to it. Um... If you want to play it for yourself, link's in the description below. It's on Newgrounds. And as always, thank you so much for watching. And stay tuned for more from our love productions. Cheerio! The reason, according to Death and Sir Pratchett, that children should believe in the Hogfather is that it gets them used to believing in things that are un... Yeah. Oh, can't stop. All right. Wow, Graham. Well, there you have it, Pilar.